Welcome to a look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday the 23rd of March and we have new mods. Apologies for last week not doing a mod review on Friday. Um, obviously I was travelling back from the Lake District and I had you know, I just didn't get a chance to do it so I do apologise. But today's mods, we do have an update to the Gorenk Transfer Forks by Polycount. Uh, new modded Geo uh, York, Nebraska by Northfire. And then we come on to the actual mods themselves for today. In front of us, we have got the Holoras Stego package. This is by Lucas Plays TV. Uh, we've got the smaller one is uh, three slots. The large one is four slots. We've already got the Holoras Stego. I think it's the 485, isn't it? Um, by another modder, but this is a pack that has these two with it. And this one comes with the concrete ballast weights on the top as well to add a bit of extra weight. I was only talking about these the other day, the FS17 ones that you fill with water, but these ones have got extra ballast on top. Nice, neat, tidy mods. Lighting arrays on the back of the bigger one. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, you got the lighting array on the back of the big one, but not on the smaller one. I just noticed that. Uh, you'll find these under levelers, I believe. I'm sure it was levelers. Yes, that's the one. Oh, that's the standard in-game one, not a modded one. Uh, the Stego 485. But the modded ones are just here. So we've got the 485, 4.8 metre. And then we've got the 285, 2.9 metre. Options available. Um, you can have it with no ballast weight like that. Where it says design colour, that's actually for the ballast weight. So you can have it as Holoras green, or you can have it as with concrete weight colour. So you can have no ballast. You can have 325 kilograms or 750 kilograms. And if you change, why is it like, can we go back up? Typically, let's go back again. Nope, why don't we go back up again? It's weird how these menus sometimes do that. If I leave it on Holoras green, then now do it. The weights are on there, but they're in the green of the Holoras. Like so. Uh, the small one is the same options available. Concrete colour or green colour. No ballast weight, 325 or 750 gram. And there you go. For levelling your bunker silos, where you're compacting your chaff, chaff into silage, ready for fermenting, that kind of thing. Um, it just speeds up the process. So uh, there you go. That's by um, Lucas Plays TV. Moving on. We have this. Uh, this is the placeable garden lamp. This is by Marcus77. I think it's kind of designed, you know, around the edges of gardens, illuminate a pathway, that kind of thing. Or you might just want to put them on the, on the corners of roads or whatever you want to do. It's entirely up to you. These things come on at night. Uh, there, there was two slots to place the first one. So what we'll do is have a look under placeables now. Um, I think it was... I'm trying to think now. Decoration... Yeah, so once you bought the first one at two slots, each subsequent one then drops down to one slot. 250, they're not cheap, to be fair. Um, but there you go, and they light up the whatever path you want to. Light up your life in some way, shape or form. So that's by Marcus77. Moving on, we have got over here... This is the weight station decoration. Um, so it's just like the way bridges you often get. This one's got the little building that goes with it. Nice bit of detail. Door opens, you can go inside with the cones on the outside. It doesn't have um, an electronic way thing, so I assume it is literally, it does say decoration, it doesn't actually function, it's just as a decoration itself. This will set you back 17 slots, and it's by Matthew FS. So if you're looking for a way station, this may be the mod you're looking for. Um, moving on. Oh, actually, no, we need to have a look, don't we? This is under miscellaneous. 10,000 to place. Um, yeah, and it just... Yeah, it's just a decoration. I mean, it's not, not really much else to say about that one, is there? Um, moving on, we've got the Old Brick Barn by Camelos0397. I like the mods by Camelos. Um, I've, I've said this before. I like most mods that come out. It's very rarely I find mods I don't like, or there are some that every now and again you have a few problems with, but Camelos0397 mods, the detail on them is incredible. I mean, it just looks amazing. I love it. It's a nice looking mod this. 
got a bit of room for your bales if you want to put bales in there pallets maybe smaller vehicles you'll get some larger stuff in there it goes up quite high got a light switch over here plenty bright enough side door at the back so if you want to be bringing stuff in and putting it well, however whatever you want to use it for i could speculate for hours about what you could possibly do and what you could possibly bring in here and store but yes a nice looking mod the, the detailing it really is incredible i like it this is only i say only it's 18 slots which i don't think is actually too bad to be fair uh this is under uh, sheds i think there we go it's the barn 16 by 12 meter 22,000 to place and like i say 18 slots while we're in here we're going to look at the next two and this is the workshop mod this is also by camelos 0397 so we'll have a look at it in store then we'll have a look at it on the ground we've got the workshop 10 meter by 16 meter for 25 grand that's 20 oh that's weird because the first one said 28 slots second one said 24 we got well they're both saying two now because obviously i've placed one of each that's the standard workshop the 10 meter by 34 has got an extension on the side of the standard one you'll see what i mean when we have a look at them um there are no options available you get what you get it's placeable so we've got the workshop I'll go past that in a second this is the workshop so as you can see you've got the double doors the small door and the window and then the extended one is the double door small door window and then you've got this whole section on the side here um i think i like about this i've said before and uh, when you've got doorways when you've got you know shelters i like having plenty of headroom to get bigger machinery and stuff in and what's great about this is you've got the smaller doorways for putting vehicles in this way or bales or whatever you want to store in it but i like the fact if you're coming from the end that whole top section is open so you've got plenty of room for big machinery if you've got tool stuff harvesters whatever it might be to get in there or if you're I think you might have enough room for bales the bale unloaders that lift up to uh, to unload in there but this has a light switch just on the outside here and where's the light switch for this one? Oh, there we go oh another one this side as well no shortage of light switches for all the different sections of the building uh, if we go into this one this door opens he says well, that's weird okay but it is a functional workshop as well so you've got your workshop trigger inside uh, on top of all the space as well i like this like 24 and 28 slots again i don't think that's particularly high the, the detailing again on this brilliant the wood looks like it was painted a long time ago you know it's gradually worn and faded off and it needs doing but they're really nice mods this one is the same see if I can get this door to open because it did there we go that one does don't know anyway light switch is there on and off inside the same and there you go they're by Camelos 0397 nice set of buildings those like them right um come rattling through this don't I uh next we've got the I apologize if I say this wrong Dong Dongreville Dong yeah Dongreville isn't it PE32. This is by Simulagri Modding. It's a low loader, but it's a trailed one, so it's designed to go behind tractors and those kind of things. It's not a um, fifth wheel attacher. Um, it is a trailed version. Uh, it does have extending boards on it as well. Beacons on the outsides, which when the boards close, they kind of close in on it as well. Uh, and there's some nice animations on this. We do have a couple of straps on the back here, um, but there aren't any on the forward section. But for things like um, excavators, when you've got buckets and things, you can drop the bucket down into this section here. I mean, I know it's you know, just to kind of hold it in place. But um, yeah, another nice tidy mod. few options available on it. I'll hook up to it in a second. We'll, we'll show it um, with its functionality. Steering axle on the back as well, which is very, very handy. Uh, this you will find under tools and under low loaders there it is 17,000 to buy like not too expensive at all uh eight slots really low on the slot count as well that's a win-win on this one isn't it main color we can have orange we can have black or we can have green and then design color we can have gray and that changes the 
um, supports uh, the covers for the chains on the back and the rims and you've got a little grey stand at the front there or we can go for yellow on those if you want to go for the yellow version those are your options available so let's grab I just brought it down with this it's, it's, it doesn't need to be there any particular thing it's a very big tractor for a fairly small trailer but I say fairly small with the extending boards on this um, you can get some big machinery I know on the um, mod hub there's a video of it and there's a is it a ponds is it a buffalo on the back of it you can get some big stuff on it let's just say that anyway uh, I'm gonna open up the help menu using my side panel because there's a few options here um, if you do L1 and X it folds the loader now that just puts those out so what you need to do is actually put the back up first so that's just to highlight the fact that if you do fold loader that doesn't do the ramps automatically you need to do that yourself so if I do L1 and then my right stick side to side I raise the ramps up like so up and down again some great animations on this I like that. Uh, and then we do fold, so L1 and X. Oh, let's get down to that level. That all folds away, they hook up. Like so, and off we can go if we want to. Um, we have also got, let me just check this, L1 and then right stick up and down does the sideboard. So if we look on here, the animation's really neat, they kind of swing out and then the boards get put on the side. They're not particularly wide, but it's enough just to keep, you know, some of the slightly wider vehicles on there. And then if we go R1, I'm trying to think, R1, and up and down, we can adjust the height of the actual trailer itself from right in at the attacher. So depending on the hitch you've got and whereabouts it puts it, you can raise and lower it to keep the load level once you're loaded up. It's a nice mod. Like I say, a few options available. Only eight slots. It's pretty cool. Um, so what we'll do is we'll unfold like so. And we'll drop it down. Like that. Like that. Beacons on. So you get the beacons either side. Like that. There's no rear trail hitch on this, you can't attach something else on the back of it. Uh, and then we'll put the boards out. Let's level that a little bit. Like so. Very, very nice indeed. Like it. So, on to the last of the mods for today. Weirdly, this is one of those ones that didn't show up on the mod hub on the website, but has shown up on the mod hub in game. We have got this, and this is... Let's just close the menu off a second. We have got a Terra Track. Now, we've already got a Terra Track, you may well say, and we have already got a Terra Track in-game. This is by DD Mod Passion, um, and this is a customizable one. There are a few options available on this. The standard in-game one, or say standard in-game one, the one we got as part of... Uh, what was it part of? Was it Agrotechnica? The Agrotechnica mods that we got um, from Giants. Um, so this has got a few customizable options available as you can see rear window opens the side door does open we've got some animations on the uh, hazard boxes we've got adjustable mirrors uh tinted windows a few things like that um the mod itself very nice neat and tidy we've got wide tire option on the front too and an option of tires there's also something else very nice about this and i'm going to show you in store now so if we go to tractors and then large tractors and scroll across so we've got the two next to each other and straight away you think well they both say mod that's a bit worrying uh one says minus 39 slots the other one at the moment says minus one because that's the one i've got it's only 13 slots so the giants one is 39 slots with not a lot of functionality to it um, DZ Mod Passion has worked some magic on here, some fairy dust or something. I'm not quite sure what they've done, but 13 slots, options available. We can have Michelins, Trelleborg, Mitres, back to Michelin, uh, yeah, so Michelin. Uh, we can go 
wheel set up standard design one it lifts the track it does say adjustable tracks so you can lift the track up lifts it all up a little bit gives you a little bit more height or then you can go oh that one's just why uh, yeah design one and standard it was the trailer borgs that side different so you've got that or that if we go back and we do trailer borg we've got standard we've got that option and then we've also got a wide option and if we go to mitres we've got standard that option and we've also got a wide option on the mitres very nice indeed so track and wheel options then we've got design option we can have design one is the windows as they are design two we've got a tint on the windows then back to design one and then we've got the options of the 930 terra track at 355 horsepower or the 960 terra track for an extra 35 grand which takes up to 445 so a few options on tires tinting tracks that kind of thing which if we look at the the standard one you've just got the option of engine size change so there's a few options there and a really low slot count that's fantastic so let's hop in door opens and closes when you get in nice feature Actually, we'll start inside and we'll do that again. Turn it off. So, everything comes on. Horn. We'll do it again from outside. But, lights up here. Beacon light. I always look for that. I do like it. So, you know the beacons are on from in cab. Now, I'm going to open the options menu here because I need to get this right now. Uh, if we go side to side, so R1 and side to side on my right stick, I've got an adjustable mirror on the right hand side. Very cool. If we come outside, right one and my stick up and down, I can put those hazard squares away. Animation on those, like so. Very cool. Uh, L1, right stick up and down opens and closes the rear window and right stick side to side opens and closes the door now one thing I will say if you are in this and you drive along and you have the door open because you want to get a bit of fresh air in while you're playing or whatever you're doing as soon as you get out that kind of resets itself so it goes through the open and close animation that you get so you can't technically leave that open all the time um, there you go so side to side and up and down does the window and the door very cool horn from outside l1 r1 no options available other than changing cruise control and radio and that kind of thing i like this i'm i'm, I'm flabbergasted i see I'm, I'm so impressed that you can have more functionality with a lower slot count it's, it's brilliant it's been really nicely optimized looks great sounds great nice mod that beacons lights incredibly detailed mod I love the cab suspension that rock very cool let's put it up on here you see what I mean about the boards they're just wide enough if they weren't there you'd have a bit of overhang nothing too horrendous but but what i like about the terror track as well as you do this you've got the the movement on the track but yeah very cool indeed so there you go that's the uh, class action 960 terror track by dd mod passion sorry i'm looking at the floor there um and that's it that's the mods for today um I don't think any more have appeared since I started doing the mod review. I always check just in case, because you never know. Um, there is a new map out today. I'm going to do a separate map tour of that. It's Michon by Richie F. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>